right away in the comments, did Indonesia get robbed? Let me know what you thought about that ending in the Indonesia versus Bahrain match that ended 2-2 after Bahrain tied it in the very last play, the very final minute, the 99th minute of the match. Problem here is the ref only added six minutes and the game should have ended in the 96th minute. We're talking about three free minutes that were given in this game. And folks, being unbiased, being true to what I saw, it's the wrong call. It's the wrong call. I'm sorry. It reminds me a lot of what I saw happen with my team, Mexico, when they face off against Honduras in a very important Copa America qualification match. And Mexico scored in the 100th minute despite only being given nine minutes at the end of regulation. So we're only talking about a minute there. And so much controversy at the time. I admitted that that was the wrong call from the ref involved. We're talking about three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Normally, I would be okay with that. If there was a major injury that happened in additional time, or if a goal was scored. And if my memory serves me correct, I don't remember any of that happening in additional time. It came off of a corner kick where Marhoun once again gets a brace in this game, sneaks his way behind the line, and scores a goal to tie the match. But the reason that I am so frustrated with this result and what the referee ultimately decided is because this was going to be probably the most impressive victory in Indonesia's history. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, but when you think about what Indonesia is trying to do right now in the AFC region, the age of these players, the process that they're currently in, this was going to be such an impressive victory away from home. And then considering the fact that they were down 1-0 to start the game, and they came back with the beautiful goal from Rafael Strauch to give Indonesia the lead away from home. And I thought they defended greatly, man. I thought they did great defensively. Both goals from Bahrain came off of set pieces. The first one from Marhoun, one of the goals of the week. Credit to him. Amazing goal. But that's the only way that Bahrain's going to score. They're set-piece geniuses. You just can't give them those opportunities. Scored a beautiful banger of a free kick. Hits the post, goes in. But then Ragnar, towards the end of the first half, responds with a really nice, tidy finish. The ball just falling to him. Finishes it very well, and it's tied at halftime. In the second half, I loved what I saw from Indonesia. Marcelino coming on into this match. And then Strauch just finding a way to score a beauty of a goal from the corner of the box to make it 2-1. I thought Indonesia had it because beyond that free kick that we saw Bahrain score, they couldn't do much in this game, man. They really couldn't. Indonesia's defense was very good once again. We've highlighted that already. It was very, very solid. But then, you know, craziness happens in the end. Ref at six minutes. It goes all the way to the 99th. And Bahrain scores and ties this match. I'm frustrated because these are three massive points that Indonesia does not get and they have to settle for one in a very controversial ending in my opinion. Folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments right now. I want to know everything that you thought about this decision, but beyond that, how Indonesia played, what you thought about the midfield, the defense, and obviously Schalke's goal was amazing. It was amazing, man. What a moment. The thing is, beyond this crazy decision that happened, beyond the, the crazy situation that we just saw, I beg Indonesia to stay focused. Stay focused because Group C is incredibly, incredibly tight and Indonesia has a great opportunity to get three points in a game that I'm going to call a must win against China away from home. Everyone's beaten down on China so far. Indonesia needs to be focused. Take this as a test of their mentality. Yes, it wasn't fair. Or yes, it wasn't the right decision. No matter that, stay focused and get three points in your next game and get four points total in this window. I think ultimately that is a massive victory if they can pull it off. But they can't let this result get in their heads and get in the way of what they're trying to achieve, which is get to the FIFA World Cup. So that's what I'm asking out of Indonesian fans and the Indonesian players. Stay focused because I do think they can still leave this international window feeling really good about themselves. And I really do mean it when I said this group is so tight. I mean, Australia is in second place right now with four points. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain also have four. If Indonesia beats China and certain results go their way, Indonesia could end this window in second place. So that's going to be massive to see that matchup against China. Stay focused and get the three points there. I want to know right away in the comments.